In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to smoothly deform a spline in Cinema 4D. When you apply a displacer or any sort of deformer to a spline, you typically get a very jagged result. And the reason for this is that the deformation is occurring on all of the intermediate points of the spline. And these intermediate points are what allow the spline's interpolation type to actually smooth out. And so because every point is being deformed, there's actually no smoothing happening. Well, we can get around this using the power of the most spline object. And so to do this, I'm going to create a most spline object. And I'm just going to put it uh, below the spline in the hierarchy, not underneath, but below, simply so that the spline is being generated first. And then the most spline is going to work based on the spline. Now the default simple mode of the most spline simply creates a straight line that you can adjust with various parameters, but we're instead going to jump out of the simple mode and into the spline mode. And this mode allows you to drag a spline in and act upon it. So we'll drag the source spline in here, and now we have a most spline based on that spline. Uh, you'll still see that it basically looks exactly the same. But the trick here is that most spline also allows you to output the result into a destination spline. So what I'm going to do is simply make a copy of this original spline. I'm going to remove the displacer and I'm going to drag that copy into the destination spline field. And now if I hide the most spline and the original spline, you'll see that the result we get is a smoothly interpolated spline because now it's taking the vertices that the most spline is generating and it's allowing it to smooth those out based on the interpolation type and the intermediate points. So now we get a nice smoothly deformed spline. Now this gets really fun when you apply it in a sound effector. Uh, and here what I've done is taken the most spline and I'm just using it now in simple mode because I can apply the sound effector directly as an effector on the most spline. And it's important to note, especially when you're in simple mode, this steps option here is the number of samples that it's going to apply. So basically we have 12 steps here. So now we get a result that looks something like this. Well, in order to smooth that out, again, I'm just going to output that into another spline object. And this is that spline object here. And now what I'm doing is simply instancing that spline and in the instance I've scaled it minus one on the Y so that we get a full uh, mirror basically of the spline. And I loft those two together to create a solid waveform. Then I'm adding a cloth surface in order to add some thickness and that is the entire effect right there. And finally what I did is simply make a few copies of this waveform and then within each copy, I've set the sound effector to sample a different set of frequencies so that I get some variation in each of these waveforms. So now we get something that looks similar to a voice assistant sound visualization. I hope you enjoyed this Cinema 4D quick tip. And if you did, please hit the like button, share it, and visit Cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.